Okay, folks, it's day two. Today we're going to remove the grafting frame from the cell starter, and we're going to go graft. The starter colony is rumbling a little bit this morning. All the bees are in there buzzing. I can hear them pretty well. Um, one thing I want to be cautious of is when I remove the inner cover, all of the bees are going to try to escape, and I do not want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly crack the inner cover and give a little puff of smoke, forcing anybody at the top to go down. And then I'm going to quickly remove my grafting frame and put the lid back on. So it's going to be just that, that simple, folks. So let's go ahead and do it. lid back on. So the very next step is we need to harvest the frame of eggs and young larvae. Now you don't want to go to just any of your hives to get this. You want to go to your very best hive because those are the genetics that you want to carry on. If you go to your worst hive, has the worst genetics, has the worst buildup, has the worst attitude, maybe they're very aggressive, maybe they don't make honey worth a darn, and maybe they're just covered in varroa mites. That would be the last colony I would pick. I would pick something that is able to manage varroa mites very well, is building up very quick in the spring, usually makes a large honey crop. Those are things you want to look for. So when you find those characteristics, that's what you want to take your frame of young larvae from. Another thing I would like to mention is your bee brush. You're going to want one of these. You do not want to shake the frame to get the bees off of it so you can go grass. You want to sweep them off and you want to have a good bee brush. One with nylon bristles, not horsehair, not hair of any kind. Because see the ones that have made of horsehair that are more like a drafting brush, the bees get stuck in them. When the bees get stuck in them, they get upset. When bees get upset, you get stung. So these colonies here behind me, far one on the end, that's the one I'll be choosing today to take my uh, frame from. And I'm going to get in there now and pick that out. Okay, folks, before I uh, start grafting, I wanted to lay out my area here. Um, I got my grafting frame, and I removed all of the bars. Got them set out here to graft into. Um, I wet me a, a rag with some warm water to keep the larva from drying out. As I graft, I'll lay that over the eggs, or larva, I'm sorry. So I got that damp. I got my grafting tools laid out and I got me a shallow little box here to prop the frame up against and that will give me a nice angle to see down in the frame or down in the cells. So we're going to go in straight down the side wall and then I'm going to use a little tongue scoop on the bottom of the grafting tool and raise it up. Then I'm going to place it down in my cup pulling away and then covering it up so it doesn't dry out. The moisture, the royal jelly that's on the bottom of the larva will stick in the cell cup and when you slide away it'll stay. Now remember if you accidentally roll one of these or flip it over it drowned it. So there's no use in uh, pursuing that larva anymore. The bees will clean it up and remove it. Makes it really nice having the sun at my back too. Shining right down in the cell I'm able to see what I'm doing very easily. So you can see the more you practice the better you're going to get at this. It's only as hard as you make it. And practice makes perfect. When you think you're good at it, practice some more. The grafting is all done. 
I'm going to keep these bars completely covered until I get ready to take them back to put them in the starter. Um, now it's going to be time to go put this back in the colony I took the frame from and uh, get them all closed up so I can get these back to the cell starter and to the bees before they dry out too much. Okay, grafting is done. Can now stick the grafting frame back in the starter colony. I just want to be quick. Now I'm going to move this into a shaded area and uh, tomorrow we'll transfer everything back to this cell finisher. Pretty easy so far. So I hope this series has been informative to you so far. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're not a subscriber and you would like to continue to follow this series, or any of my other videos, please take time to subscribe and make sure you click on that little bell. That way you're notified when I release new videos. In the next few days, I'll be releasing a video on the grafting tools and accessories that I use. So keep an eye open for that. And then next Sunday uh, evening, we'll release uh, transferring the cell from the starter to the finisher. So lots more to come and I plan to break this series down even more. Um, if you like the video, throw me a thumbs up, it'd be appreciated, and it'll help boost the video in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other beekeepers to find. Thanks for watching.